Hello there, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPUNet's video series on C++ and this video is about pre-increment and pre-decrement. So we will see what is pre-increment and pre-decrement operator here. So this is pre-increment and this is your pre-decrement where this a is some variable like integer a here. Okay, so what is the meaning of this plus plus here? Actually whenever you write like this pre-increment and pre-decrement or if it is like post increment and post decrement so this is the post increment and post decrement actually we are not talking about this right now this is explained in the next video so just you remember this this is pre just because this plus plus is coming pre to a and this is post because this plus plus is coming after this a okay so we will not talk about this and what is the meaning of this plus plus a and a plus plus so this implies this a is equal to a plus 1 okay so if you're writing plus plus a which is nothing but a is equal to a plus 1 and if you're writing a is equal to a minus 1 which is nothing but minus minus a okay so let's suppose if you want to increment your variable by 1 either writing this expression you could have just simply written this one okay and if you want to decrement your variable by 1 instead of writing this one you can simply write this one okay so this is a, just a shorthand for this one okay and this is shorthand for this one so let's take the look in the code here see i have given a code like so we are having this a here is equal to 10 and we are pre-incrementing it so this is nothing but a is equal to a plus 1 so in that case this a should be 11 here right after that you are decrementing it so it is decrementing by 1 so this should again get 10 so here it should be 11 and here it should be 10 so let's go and check this see it is 11 and 10 here okay so as i told this will increment it by 1 this will decrement it by 1 so you can do lots of operations also like you can assign this value into some b here okay and you can print that b so we'll print now like b and b here and the same result will be in B here. Okay, so let's check that. See, 11 and 11 here. Okay, but what if you want to increment by 2 or 3 or something? Then what would be the situation here? So there is a way. It is like A plus is equal to 2. Then this A will get incremented by 2 here. Let's check this. So if you'll print this like A and I'm giving a here and you print this so let's compile this and as it is incremented by 2 here see it is giving 12 it was 10 incremented by 2 here so this is a shorthand for writing increment in your variables you can increment by any value okay and same will work for decrement also like a minus is equal to 2 okay so it will become 8 now see it is 8 now got it so this is nothing but your a is equal to a minus 2 here. How this minus minus a is a is equal to a minus 1 here and plus plus a is equal to a is equal to a plus 1 here. Okay. So like that if it is a minus is equal to 2 this is a is equal to a minus 2 here. Okay. So whatever the number is if it is 5 this will be 5. So like this okay so as equal for this a plus is equal to 2 so if this is like this then it will be like a is equal to a plus 2 here okay so this is for incrementing by 1 and this is fixed this is going to increment by 1 only but if you will choose this way you can increment by any number okay you can increment even by 1 also okay no problem so this is pretty good right and you know what there is a very big difference in between pre and post actually i was explaining here pre increment and pre decrement right which was like plus plus a and minus minus a right so this is pre so why it is called pre and what is the significance of that i won't be able to explain that typical significance of pre because i have not explained post here so the plan is like you go and watch next video which is about post increment and post decrement and there is a separate video which will talk about the difference between post and pre okay there i have discussed the main difference between 
pre and post increment and decrement okay so go ahead and watch the consecutive videos to get the whole concept okay so i'll see you in the next video